Pete, you blew our minds in the pre-show with a quick tip that I think needs to be shared, my friend. It wasn't me. Nobody saw me. You can't prove a thing. All right. No, in all seriousness. <laughs> so here's the cool thing. And and they showed this during the iOS event back at was it WWDC when they did iOS 16? It, it, it was. It, it was, again, it was something that just kind of went in passing. But if you go into iOS 16 photos app, you can select it and take a photo and get full screen on it. If you long press on the object in the center of the photo, and it could be an airplane, it could be a person, it could be a dog, an airplane and a dog, a person and a dog, whatever. If you long press, it will automatically pull that person or that object out of the photo and leave the background behind. So you've just got the per the individual. Like in the old days, you used to try to erase the background, and half an hour later, you were almost there, and it was kind of raggy. This is amazing magic. So then what you do, once you've got that object, it, it, you slide your thumb a little bit or your finger, and, and it will take the object on the screen, and you can see that the background's been removed. Then it, take your other hand and finger and swipe up from the bottom, and you can take, you know, then select messages. Select the message and drop that person right into a message drop that object right into a message and you can send it and share it that way as well. Um, but it, you can use it to other apps as well. I imagine you could take it to some kind of a photo editor or even, I know what I've, I take it back. I, I used pages on my iOS. I was able to take an object out of the photo and drop it into pages. So it's sans the background. It's basically like a, a .png file with an, with a transparent background as well. Right. Yeah. It's okay. So it, it, it just removes the background, uh, and, and leaves you with the, either the people or the objects or both.